Sabaha everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I have for you my review of the Deluxe Designer. This is a configurable keypad that has mechanical switches on it and it's configurable down to the key level, meaning you can customize shortcuts, uh, macros, uh, you can have different profiles, presets, it has up to four presets that you can initiate directly from the keyboard. But not only that, it's in a small form factor, it looks pretty good, and gives you the ability of having a jog dial on it to be able to actually scroll through or scrub through your timeline. If you're using, let's say, Premiere, or even if you're in Photoshop, to be able to zoom in and zoom out and do many, many things that normally you have to just kind of travel all around the keyboard to be able to do this on a standard size keyboard. So I want to say thank you very much to the Deluxe Designer for allowing me to check out their new keyboard. They're currently on Kickstarter. I'll give you guys more information in the link below, but let's not waste any time. Let me show you why this is going to speed up your productivity level on your PC. box is pretty simple. This is the Deluxe Designer. Uh, and again, this is a pre-production box. So the current box or the one that you'll get if you do decide to back this project up will look a little bit different. Uh, the main thing is this is a silver on white keys and there's an additional color that they have available. And the shortcut or the main functional things that you get to do with this is configurable on your PC or on your Mac. So you can customize all of these keys with the different profiles. As I mentioned to you guys before, you have four pre-configurable ones that are already in there. The non lock, this is just the number one and you can one, M2, M3. And then you can add additional ones. Again, I'll show that more. I'll show more on the PC. There is an instruction manual to show you guys how to set it up, download the software, install all of the things. Uh, what you do have the ability, of course, is also change the dimming level on the actual key lights from either pulsating or single light turn on. This entire jog dial here is super configurable for not only just using it as a jog dial, by pressing it once, you'll be able to switch different profiles and they give you a little bit of a shortcut here on how to do all of that. Um, it is connected via USB type C. So here is a USB type A connection, USB 2.0 to your PC. Their campaign is running currently on Kickstarter. It still has about 27 days to go. As I mentioned to you guys, there's two different versions of this. There's the silver on white keys, which is what I have. And then there's more of the gray metallic on black keys. And that again, depends on your personal preference as well as your system. If you're running this on a Mac, you probably want to match it. Make sure that it does look the same as your system. For me, I use it on a PC as well as my PC laptop and MacBook. Uh, and I found that the white on, on silver works the best. Uh, it's very nice and it actually does support mechanical switches. And I want to mention to you guys that they are Keith Chalk short key switches. They are not Cherry MX, but the travel on them is pretty good. They're very responsive, very clicky. And the chalk dial, definitely one of the best features on this. Uh, intended to be used as a left-handed tool to a complementing right-handed mouse. Now, the jog dial, as I mentioned to you guys, has a lot of functions into it. This is the actual jog dial. It's a software overlay right now. You'll notice I have it moving around. But you can initiate this by pressing and holding the middle button of the jog dial itself, and you'll be able to select from it. Pressing it again deselects, and you can switch over to whichever you want. So you see here you have the left and right, up and down, brush size. That's when you're inside of the, uh, let's say, uh, if you're in Photoshop or you're using a tool that does have a brush size option. Mouse scrolling, right and left, uh, zooming in and zooming out, page flip, adjusting the volume as well as the brightness on the screen. And all of these are just controlled directly within the jog dial. Like I said, mentioned, you'll notice right there on the top left, I'm changing the volume on my device, uh, on my PC, as well as the brightness. I can change it. And then I go back and I can actually start going up and down by clicking on this actual display. And I'm using the jog dial to do this. Switching over to more of a creative tool, this is where this is becomes very functional. Uh, the actual application itself is very easy to set up. You install the drivers and they do provide you with updates. I did receive an update since I've started using this. Uh, and it has different options. So you'll notice right there we have M1, M2, and I'm not selecting them on the on the screen. I'm using directly all of this from the actual keyboard himself. So by selecting them on the keyboard, I can select which ones they are. Let's go ahead and cancel here. Um, and by default, M1 is going to be for Photoshop, M2 is going to be for Illustrator, M3 for InDesign, and you can customize and add additional ones. So like for me, I can add settings four, which becomes a fourth option, and I can add another program, let's say. For me, uh, I use number, the, the none mode uh, directly to be using this directly with Photoshop, not Photoshop, with Premiere. By default, this is something that I like to use with my timeline. So for me, right now you notice the zooming option is what I have, but let's say I want to be able to skip forward slightly. I'm doing frame by frame skip, and if I I want to be able to do it where I'm going just basically block by block. I can change it over, do it. And all of that is done by just switching over in the actual uh, on the dialer. So you notice right there, I'm going page. I'm just skipping forward. The zooming in, zooming out sometimes becomes very functional when you're trying to find that right frame for you. Uh, and of course, just switching over to the jog dial here, you can just kind of switch, go to the timeline. Personally, when I'm working in here, I do like to do the option to be able to go frame by frame. You'll notice right there, that's the transition. So you can see how it is. 
Again, all of this is customizable and I did all my shortcuts in here under the none mode. And it's very easy when I want to switch over to Photoshop, I go to M1, M2, M3, and again, apply those. You can edit the macros, of course, import and export macros if you want, and you can update the software to your liking. Overall installation is pretty simple. Download the software, plug in the actual keypad, and it works pretty well. Uh, the profiles currently there's only three profiles that are pre-built into it there's illustrator photoshop as well as um, indesign and those three programs are the ones that they have already configured shortcuts to now that doesn't mean you can't go in there and change all of those customizations to things that you use in your own programs and for me i use the initial the default option to be able to make that my premiere setup and that's what i usually do to be able to zoom in zoom out cut um, you know put in my transitions uh, be able to jump uh, the different cuts scrub through my timeline all of those things are done single-handedly with my left hand and just switching over with the jog dial. Now, switching over between the different options as I was showing you guys with the hands-on on the PC, you just need to press the button in the middle of the jog dial and then spin it and then you actually get it to the right form, press it again and then skip through to the, re to the next one. Um, you are able to also select it with your mouse, so just keep that in mind. If you press it once and bring out that little selection tool, use the mouse to select it, click it and then just move forward. Uh, for me, producing and when you're sitting in and doing video production and editing and or even producing things on Photoshop, um, you'll realize how much time you spend on the keyboard jumping between shortcuts and initiating these things and how many times your hand has to leave the mouse and go back. It may not sound like a lot, but when you're doing a long, long session of video editing or even producing things, this can definitely be a great time saver. So. Um, Definitely priced really well. They're currently on Kickstarter. They have about 27 days to go. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you very much again to Deluxe Designer for allowing me to check it out. It's a really cool tool, very functional, works on a PC, works on a Mac. Definitely looks like it should be working with a Mac because it kind of looks like it's made from the same material. Uh, but for me, it works really great. I use it on every any kind of system that I can and I can produce things out of. Like and subscribe as usual. And again, thank you very much for the support. I'll see you guys in the next video.